Hi, I'm Susan. Today's workout is going to be another chair yoga for flexibility workout. The only equipment that you will need is a sturdy chair, perhaps your kitchen chair or a dining room uh, chair. That would be nice and sturdy so that you're not moving around and you may need that for balancing. Also, perhaps some water to stay hydrated while we're doing our exercises today. Another thing I'd want to remind you of is perhaps you want to uh, just use bare feet. If you have your socks on, I'm afraid you might be slipping and sliding when we get to the standing portion of our workout today. So go ahead and take your socks off. Nobody's gonna see your toes. Alrighty, so um, there's another thing I want to remind you of and that is you should always consult with your physician before engaging in any physical activity program and by participating in this online exercise class. You assume all dangers, hazards, and risks of such participation. The exercises demonstrated by the instructor in this online class is physically demanding. And if you're unable to safely perform these exercises, please modify them for your own safety or choose a different set of exercises. So as we begin, I want to center ourselves. So make sure your feet are flat on the floor and you're sitting back in your chair or sit so that you uh, can keep those feet on the floor. Make sure your shoulders are just above your hips. Pull that belly button in. Your chin is parallel to the floor. Let's go ahead and do some cleansing breaths as we start our exercise here. Inhale and bring those arms up, inhaling through the nose. As you exhale, go ahead and lower those hands. Inhaling through the nose. Lengthening the sides, palms come together, exhale and slowly lower, but we're lowering and we're exhaling through our nose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale through the nose. And one more. Inhale, arms up, lengthening the sides. Exhale and slowly lower. Very nice. Now, sitting up nice and tall, keep that belly button in. I want you to tilt that right ear and bring it to your right shoulder. So go ahead, tilt that ear, and you should feel a nice stretch here in the left side of your neck. As an option, you can take that left hand, flex the palm, and push that palm toward the floor if you want a deeper stretch in that neck. We tend to hold a lot of tension in our neck, so we really want to keep it loose so we can have that mobility. And go ahead, bring your head back to center. And then left ear to left shoulder, inhaling. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Make sure those shoulders are pulled away from your ears. Remember your option, go ahead and flex that right palm, pushing it down toward the floor breathing into that and bring your head back center nice job now we're sitting up nice and tall I want you to turn your head to look toward the right now keep those shoulders square and keep that left shoulder back inhaling here exhale turn the head only looking over that right shoulder keep those shoulders away from your ear the chin is parallel to the floor now go ahead tuck that chin in so you're looking down at that right shoulder keep your chin tucked rotate your head down looking down into your lap shoulders away from the ears and then go ahead bring that chin so it's parallel to the floor and then turn your head to look over that left shoulder. Keep that right shoulder back. Watch that we're not turning here. That's what we tend to do. And then go ahead, tuck that chin in, look down at that left shoulder. Keeping your chin tucked, rotate your head so you're looking down into your lap. And then lift your head so your chin is parallel to the floor nice give me another inhale bring those arms up lengthen the body 
Exhale and lower those arms all the way down. Good, bring those hands behind your head. Now those elbows are out to the side. You're sitting up nice and tall. Pull that belly button in, lengthen the spine. Now inhale here through the nose. As you exhale, I want you to press those elbows back as you squeeze those shoulder blades together. You're waking up those back muscles. And go ahead and release that. One more time, inhale here, sitting up tall, abs in. Exhale, go ahead and squeeze those shoulder blades together. And bring those elbows back in. Go ahead and lower those arms. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, turn those palms away and then lower those arms so they're shoulder height. We're sitting up nice and tall. Remember, we're not up here. Those shoulders away from your ears. Let's turn that left palm up and go ahead and turn your head looking at that left palm. Breathing into that stretch. Turn that left palm down, bring your head back center. Relax those shoulders, turn that right palm up. Now turn the head to look at that right palm. Breathing into that. Again, we wanna keep those shoulders square lower and turn that right palm down bring your head back center lower both of those arms one more time inhale bring those arms up exhale lower those arms halfway turn that left palm up look at that left palm bring your head back center and then ro rotate that right palm up and look at that right arm that right palm shoulders away from your ears Turn that right palm down, exhale, and lower. Let's just do some nice shoulder rolls back and down. Good. Very nice, guys. Okay, we're gonna be moving on here. So I want you to just start marching, opposite arm and leg. Now, notice what I'm doing with my toes. I'm pointing my toes. You can keep those arms halfway or you can bring it all the way up. Make sure those abdominals are engaged. Give me four more, here's four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice job, another shoulder roll. Okay, so we're going to extend this right leg, so slide it out. I want you to lift up the heel, so you're pressing those toes into your mat. Go ahead and lower that heel, slide that right leg back, and now lift up your toes and spread those toes out. That feels good. Lower that right foot. Extend, slide that right foot forward. Sitting up tall now. Lift up your heel so you're pointing those toes. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your shin. Lower that heel. Slide that foot back. Open up those toes. It's like you're airing out between the toes. Go ahead and lower that foot. One more time here. Slide that right foot out. Press those toes into the mat, lifting your heel. Again, we're not slouching. Sit up tall. Abs are in. Shoulders away from your ears. Go ahead, lower that heel. Slide that right foot back. Let's lift up the heel and just rotate that ankle. And rotate that ankle the other way. Good. Push that right foot down. We're gonna work on the left side now. Go ahead and slide that left foot out. And then lift up that left heel as we push those left toes into the mat. Lower that heel, slide that left foot back, and now lift up those left toes as we spread those toes out wide. Lower that left foot, slide it back out again. Lift your heel. 
Doesn't that feel good? Lower the heel. Slide the foot back in. Flex the foot, lifting and opening up those toes. One more. Lower those toes. Go ahead, exhale and slide it out. Lift up the heel. Lower that heel. Slide that foot back in and lift up those toes and spread those toes out wide. Well, as wide as you can. Mine aren't spreading very wide, but they're still doing the job. I still feel the stretch between my toes. Go ahead and lower those toes. Lift up your left heel, or you can lift the foot off the floor altogether and rotate that left ankle. Good. We're gonna do a lot of lower body work today and then rotate that left leg the other way. Good. Put that left foot down. Inhale here, raise this right arm up. Exhale, go ahead and lean to the left. Now I want you to keep pushing that right hip into the mat. Inhale here and lift. Exhale and lower. Inhale, raise this left arm up. As you lean to the right, keep pushing the left hip into the chair. Inhale here and lift. Exhale and lower. Now, we're going to do right arm, left leg out to the side and lower. Left arm, right leg out to the side. So it's opposite arm and leg. Right arm, left leg, point that toe, feel a nice little stretch in that inner thigh and lower. Left arm, right leg and lower. Right arm, left leg and lower. Left arm, right leg. Good. Now, let's do it a little bit faster. Trying to get that heart rate up just a little bit. Right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm. Good. Four, three, sitting up tall. Two, nice set. Last one. Good. Nice job. Now, I want you to push yourself back a little more. We're gonna do what I like to call stars, but some people call them jumping jacks, but they're seated jumping jacks. Don't be afraid. So pull that belly button in, you're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to up, open up those arms and legs and lower. Open and lower. If it's too much, just do one leg at a time. If you need to, okay, keep those legs straight and point those toes. Pull that belly button in. You can really feel the section of the abdominals below the belly button. Good. We're exhaling. Give me two more. Last time here. Nice job. Go ahead and push forward. Just tap your feet out. Shoulders back and down. Alrighty, so <clears throat> we're moving on. Put those hands on those thighs. Inhale, shoulders away from yours. Push the chest forward, looking up. Exhale, tuck that chin in. Round out those shoulders. Push the belly button to the spine. Inhale. Look up. Exhale, round out those shoulders. I'm going to do one more so you can see what I'm doing here. Inhale, shoulders away from the ears, looking up. My belly button's in. Exhale, tuck that chin in, round out those shoulders. This is your seated cat and cow. Bring those shoulders up to your ears, sitting up nice and tall. Notice my posture. Okay, nice and tall, shoulders away from the ears. We're going to move on to some sun salutations here. So those legs are hip width apart. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale, bend those elbows, open up those hands for cactus hands. And then hinge forward, keep the belly button in and you're looking just forward on the floor. Exhale, fold forward, letting those arms hang down. Inhale, bring your hands to your knees, looking up. Exhale, fold forward one more time. 
Lift that right arm up as you exhale and lower. Lift left arm up and lower. Inhale and come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, release the upper body. Exhaling here. Inhale and lift, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold forward, right arm up. And lower. Left arm up. And lower. Inhale, bring those arms all the way up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold forward, right arm up. And lower, left arm up. And lower, inhale, bring those arms all the way up. Exhale, hold it here. Now, pull that belly button in. Inhale, lift from the uh, ribs, and then as you exhale, we're gonna turn to the left. So my hips are still facing forward. Inhale, come back center and exhale. Inhale, pull that belly button in. Exhale, rotate, looking over that right shoulder. My lower body is still facing you. Inhale, exhale, come forward. And then lower back down as we exhale. Inhale and up. Exhale, fold forward. Right arm up. And lower. Left arm up. And lower. Come up. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale all the way up. Lower those hands, elbows opening up. Now inhale here. As you exhale, I want you to bring that elbow toward that hip. Inhale, lift. And exhale, right elbow toward that hip. Inhale, up. Exhale, hinge forward. Exhale, reach it down. Inhale, come up. Exhale and fold forward. Right arm up and lower. Left arm up and lower. Inhale, bring those arms all the way up. Palms come together here. Exhale and lower. Ooh, are we feeling a lot warmer now? Good, good. Okay, so we're going to um, keep those feet hip width apart. We're gonna do some blasts off. So that is just standing up and then sitting back down, okay? Now, options here. I would like for you to keep those hands crisscrossed in front of you as we sit up at, or stand up and then sit back. If you need to, you can just keep those hands down by your side. Push through those heels and stand and then we're gonna exhale, keep the chest lifted, okay? So I want you to see my posture as I'm doing this. I'm sitting there, sit near the edge of your chair. You stay facing me, I'm just showing you so your posture is, is adequate. So pull that belly button in, push through those heels and stand. And then sit back. And push through those heels and stand. And push those hips back. Inhale, exhale. Nice work. I think this is five. Good job. Keep those abdominals in for your balance. Keep pushing through those heels to protect those knees. Make sure you're pushing those hips back. It's a hip hinge here. Good. All right, I lost count in how many we're doing, but I want you to give me two more. Okay, do what you can. Sitting up tall, or standing tall, sit back. Last time, up, and sit back. Whew. Go ahead and tap those toes, roll those shoulders around. Good. All right, now we're gonna be moving on and stretching out the upper back. 
We're gonna do the eagle pose. I want that left arm in front of you, right between your chest, okay? No, the right arm, no, left arm. Okay, so take that right arm, bring it underneath, and if you can't touch those hands, that's fine. Just do what you can. If you can touch those hands, that's super terrific. Pull that belly button in. Now you should be feeling a nice stretch across the upper back by now. Let's take that left leg and cross it over that right leg. And if you can, have that left toe come around the calf of that right leg. This is a yummy stretch, so good for the upper back. Now inhale here, lifting those arms, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Give me two more, inhale up. Now remember, just do what you can, keep that core engaged, exhale. And our final time here, inhale, and exhale. Go ahead, uncross that left leg, uncross those arms, Ooh, roll those shoulders back and down. Doesn't that feel yummy? All right, we're gonna do it on the other side now. Now that right arm comes in front, that left arm, comes around and you may find one side is a little bit more flexible than the other and that's normal okay so if you can see if you can get those hands together all right so we're going to take that right leg cross it over that left leg and maybe bring it behind that left 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 calf and you can see that this side isn't quite as flexible for me so make sure you're sitting up nice and tall Lifting those arms, belly buttons in. Inhale, lift those arms up, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Good. Uncross that right leg, uncross those arms. Ooh, I felt that in my right side of my hip here. Tap those toes, roll those shoulders back and down. How are we feeling? Go ahead and get your drink as needed. We're moving on. So this is the standing portion of our show. A little more balance. Go ahead, stand up, blast off. And I want you to stand to the side of your chair. I'm just gonna turn my chair around so you can see me. And extend my arms. We're gonna do a standing, we're, we're gonna do a standing downward facing dog. So my arms are fully extended. I'm walking my feet back. They're about hip width apart. Pull that belly button in. Inhale here. As you exhale, push those hips back. You can keep your knees bent but if you straighten them, you might feel a good stretch in those hamstrings. Try and keep those arms fully extended. Those arms are right by your ears. Keep breathing into that stretch. Go ahead, keep breathing into that. One more time, inhale here. No, those shoulders are away from your ears. Look at my posture. I've got a nice flat back. I'm not here. Okay, inhale one more time. Belly button in. Exhale and lift. I'm walking my feet forward. Now, option. You can always hold on to the chair for your balance. We're going to open up those hips. Standing up nice and tall. Again, remember those shoulders are away from your ears. Lift up that right knee. Go ahead and rotate that knee all the way around. Maybe you can do it here. Okay, one more time. And then circle that knee the other way. Do it slow and controlled. Focusing on something still. Good, now hold it here. Now I want you to lift that right leg out like a fire hydrant. Lift, lift, 
last time lower extend that leg behind you bring those arms forward and sweep it in front and bring it back and sweep in front focus on something still and sweep in front one more and sweep it in front lower those hands lower that leg and go ahead and relax and maybe you want to shake it out this leg was moving but your left leg was holding an isometric hold which was working as well okay so i'm going to move my chair around the other way we're going to work on the left side now standing up nice and tall go ahead lift up those toes spread your toes out place those toes pinky toe the second toe all the way down so that big toe comes to the floor those shoulders are back and down abs are in let's go ahead and lift this left knee and we're just going to do little circles here oh let's circle it forward that's it those abdominals are in remember you can have that hand hover give me one more here and circle it the other way. Doesn't that feel yummy across your hip flexors? My abs are engaged. We've got one more. Good. Now we're gonna do that fire hydrant. Lift and lower. These are your options. Remember the longer the levers, the more challenging it will be. Good. We're gonna extend that left leg in front and then swing it back, squeezing the butt cheek, and in front, and swing back. We've got two more in front, swing back. One more in front, swing back, and lower that left foot to the floor. Put your hands on your hips, and give me a little hula here, keeping that belly button in. We're almost through with our flexibility and then pull those hips the other way and your balance this is also very good for your balance guys good all right one more standing up tall go ahead and face your chair you can stand behind your chair so we can see each other because we have this okay open up those legs hip width apart option you can hold on to the chair or hover over the chair. Pull the belly button in, focus on something still. Come up on those tippy toes. Good. Maybe you wanna extend that arm that's closest to me. Lower that arm, lower those heels, lift those toes. Spread them out, you're back on your heels. Lower those toes. Come up and lift the heels, abs in, and raise that arm that's closest, that's away from me, that's away from me. Abs in here, up on those toes, really squeezing those calves. Lower the hand, lower the heels, lift those toes. We've got one more, each side, toes. Right arm up or the arm closest to me. Lower, lift your toes, up on the toes, the arm furthest from me. Lower, lift your toes, and then go ahead and tap those toes, and come to the front of your chair. We'll do one more stretch, your figure four stretch. Have a seat, get the drinks as needed. Let's take that right leg. This is my favorite stretch, and no matter how many times a day I do it, it always feels good and is very great for that outer hip. So take that right leg and cross it above that left leg. Pull that belly button in, inhaling here, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, shoulders away from the ear. Keep those abs in. If you want to, push that, that right heel toward the left, pulling those toes toward you. You can really feel that here. Inhale, using the abdominals and lift. Exhale. 
uncross that leg and your left leg crosses above that right knee flexing that foot inhale here lengthen exhale hinge forward keep the head and the neck in line with their spine flex that foot you're pushing that left heel toward the right but you're pulling those toes toward you breathe into that stretch and of course you can hold these stretches longer than i do because we're short on time inhale here and lift exhale and lower uncross those legs inhale with those arms up palms come together exhale stop at your third eye and have clear and loving thoughts lower those thumbs to your heart have clear and loving intentions bring those thumbs to your lips have clear and loving communications with all beings on earth namaste and thank you all for coming don't forget to subscribe to the channel feel free to make comments and share the video with your friends